Happy Wednesday, apprentices. This is Clayton Allen, host of the Day Trading Plumber and founder here at Allen FX. So every Wednesday now, I'm going to go through the markets and we're going to see how our predictions panned out from our Sunday setup video. And we're going to scan the charts looking for new trades. So I want to make these as quick as possible um, and as efficient as possible. So I'm going to jump right into it. But don't forget to hit like and follow here on uh YouTube, so you catch all of my trade ideas as I'm posting them. I'm getting a, a, a lot of a lot of good feedback on my YouTube short posts. All right, guys, let's jump right to the charts and let's see what we got. I'm gonna have a new look this uh, this time. I'm gonna go with this darker look, but let's just go top down. So we've already made uh, we're already up 412 pips on the week. By the way, in my Journeyman Trade Channel, I'll put links in the notes. So if you guys want to follow along with trades that I'm taking in real time, jump onto that Journeyman Channel. So uh, we shorted this pair when we hit this bearish level, and we're in some good profit. We've actually closed the trade now. So some of you, some people draw their uh, trend lines right on the bodies of the candles. Some people draw them on the wicks. There's really no right or wrong way. Uh, I know some of you will probably write in and say, you're crazy, man. It goes on the wicks. Uh, if you're a wicker, uh, good for you. Um, so I have my alert down here because I want to see if price comes down, back down. I that's where I possibly would be a buyer. Um, but right now, it's in no man's land, so there are uh, really no big enticing trades for me on this pair right now. We're starting to see the crest. Uh, we had it. This is the daily chart, by the way, guys. I, let's just drop down to the hourly because one of the things I really like to look for midweek is trend line breaks, which we have. And where is my. Oh, we have our favorite indicator off. Okay. So price is kind of in between R2 and the pivot. Uh, nothing too too crazy to report there. And so we'll move on. We're going to do this pretty quick. Uh, we've broken past the pivot here. So if we were to draw a trend line, and I'll try to make both styles of people happy. Okay. So we've been predicting this pair uh, was going to drop. There was divergence there. Uh, now we have this trend line break and we broke the pivot. More than likely, uh, I like this pair. It's sitting right at this support. So if we break this support, um, I like this pair back down to that S2 level. Um, but it's just not primed and ready. And RSI is telling us it's a bad time to... Uh, Bad time to take, put in a sell trade. So it's probably good that we see what happens on this support it's sitting right now. AUD and ZD. So price hit R2, uh, you know, overnight. And now we have a good break. So uh, it hasn't quite really broke the trend line yet. Especially if you're a wick drawer. <clears throat> so I'm imagining we might get there's a prediction arrow from Sunday. Uh, I'm imagining we might get another push back up to R2 and see some sort of double top scenario on this pair. But as of right now, uh, nothing too, too great jumping out at me. So we have a Fibonacci drawn here. Price bounced perfectly off the 618. Pull that over so you guys could see it. Right where we had our bearish zone. And... It's almost back to the pivot. So I want to see what price is going to do at this pivot. Uh, we may see a bounce, but like I like like we're seeing a trend here. Uh, uh, that's funny as I'm drawing a trend line. Um, we're starting to see a trend in the fact that all these Australian dollar pairs are breaking these trend lines. So we might see a big move. Uh, of a decline on the on the Australia dollar coming back. 
Okay. Uh, CAD Swiss Frank. Beautiful, right? Uh, this, this box, those of you that did not watch or listen to my podcast, uh, I'm working on a new trading strategy uh, that I'm going to call uh, Shelter in Place. So basically, not to go in too much detail, I'll put a video out today maybe. Uh, whenever you see these huge moves, either up or down, and then price starts to go sideways, you draw a box around the highs and lows of these boxes, and you just trade on this range. Now, these should be very small trades like we took here, and should be pretty much, let me change the colors here, uh, should be pretty much, you're, you're really, what you're doing is you're waiting for price you're waiting for price to break out of this box. And because the structure is bearish, I like to take all these sell trades at the top of this box, hoping and waiting for that big push down. But things are getting a little crazy in the markets since this COVID-19. So these are really good trades. Uh, we're right in the middle of this range. So nothing to report here. Uh, okay, we're kind of doing the same thing here with the box. Um, I'm going to move that right to there. Uh, price is sitting on S2, almost in a double bottom scenario. So we could potentially look at a buy trade here. But being up so many pips this week, uh, it's not worth taking the chance, right? I'm, I'm looking for trades uh, today that have a very high probability, mostly when I'm this far up on the week, I get very selective. So, uh, again, you could see the box, right? I don't have the actual box drawn on this one, but you can see where I'm trying to play in between these two zones. And right now we're in the middle, even though we've hit S2 on the hourly, if I jump up to the daily, we're nowhere near S2, right? And I've told you guys, uh, S2, R2, the higher the time frame, the uh, more higher the probability, um, but less trades. You're going to get way less trades if all you do is look here. But that's fine. Okay, let's go back down to the hourly chart. Swiss franc JPY, okay. All right, so price blew through S2. We got a bounce off of it. So if we were looking, we would have got a bounce. We would have had a great profitable trade. Uh, this was our Sunday prediction, and look at how well that worked out. Uh, but we're sitting in what we ha are calling our bullish zone. So uh, we should be looking for buy trades here any minute or any any hour now, I guess. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm trying. I, I switched my charts to a dark theme, and I had all of these written. So the obsessive compulsive in me has to change them. Why I'm on here with you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be looking for a buy trade. Um, I some of you breakout traders are probably salivating a little bit right now. Uh, so. Yeah, let's see what we get here. It looks like we've already kind of pushed past that support. We've bloomed through all these supports. Um, and, you know, if we break this level, which we already have, it looks like we could get quite a drop. Let's go up to the daily. Zoom in a little bit. Um, man, what an impressive move. Uh, the Swiss francs devaluing against... The JPY, this is a, a really good target here, uh, but I think we're going to get some sort of push. So uh, if you're short, this would be a target uh, for some sort of stop. Um, I like this former S2 uh, as a good support right here. You can see we've had a lot of turns there. And it's probably more than likely that's where we want to look to get bullish is there. If you're already bearish, good on you. But 
I want to see when price gets here. I think we're going to make a run for that pivot uh, the end of the week. Man, look at that prediction arrow from Sunday. All right. So I'm going to put an alert here because I want to catch this one. Uh, 110, 110, 687. That's the high probability trade, guys, that I'm, I'm looking for midweek um, when I'm up. Okay, so we have a Fibonacci on the Australia, Euro Australian dollar. And looks like we're getting a good bounce here on the 0.5 on the daily. So if we drop down to an hourly, let's stretch this out a little bit. Give us some dramatics. Uh, we didn't quite get the S2. This is where we have our bullish zone and our alert. Uh, so I still think I still think we're gonna come back down at least to S2, maybe all the way to that six. I think that's the uh, 0.618. Yes, it is. That's what I'm waiting for, guys, to go long on this pair. Um, if we draw a trend line across the tops of this, you can see we haven't really uh, broken a top. So until until we see some sort of retest, which would be all the way back up to this pivot, um, it's still a downward trend. So uh, if we get a push all the way up to this pivot, strong look at a sell right there. I know uh, I have this way up here in the craziness, but I think for a short-term sell, I like it right there. So let's just wait and see what happens here. Euro, Swiss, Frank. So here's a prediction arrow. Get out of there. Um, we have our bear. We're kind of in this box right here. Uh, I'm starting to see some strong support here. This blow through the pivot, we may get a push all the way back down to here, uh, but probably not. Like I said, uh, this pair, no, there's no reason to be getting stuck in any trades uh, when things don't look super, super probable. Uh, you, One can argue, you know, one could argue, make a, a really strong argument. Well, why would you ever trade if it's not super, super probable? And you're right. All right, look at what we got here, guys. We have price making a run for S2. So this is more likely going to spike down, hit that level. And then look at what we have. We have a missed pivot, uh, one of my favorite setups. Now, if we start to see divergence on a five minute, <clears throat> and we are, we're hit, we're on S two on the five minute, so we are getting danger close to a buy trade here, and I'm gonna put it right on the S two level, eighty seven seven eighty eight, eighty seven seven eighty eight. <clears throat> I'm actually going to put in a pending order on this pair. And I'm going to mark this pivot. I'm going to put a, a fairly tight stop loss for this model. Uh, but if you guys don't mind, I'm just going to put this in my Telegram channel. Uh, on, actually on my own, <clears throat> my own live account right now. In my telegram channel so I'm gonna enter at 7 87 87 788 so if you guys are in my telegram channel you're gonna see this pop in right now so euro GBP there it is let's put in a pending I put in a buy limit I don't need, whoa, whoa, I don't need 50 lots. That was from my much bigger account. OK, 
Okay. And I'm going to put in my take profit right away, which we got at 97.63. And there it is. So I am not putting in a stop as if you guys followed me long enough. Uh, I use smaller trade sizes and no stops. Now, it doesn't mean every trade I put on doesn't have a stop and doesn't mean I don't have a mental stop. But you just saw exactly how I use and put in my trades. So, Euro JPY, same thing here, guys. We're getting very close to our bullish uh, zone, but it, it is not... I'm really sorry, guys. I should just come back to this. Not on the recording. And you're right. <clears throat> but we're getting close to our bullish zone. Euro NZD. Uh, yeah, we had a decent bounce there. I'm going to stretch that down a little bit. And uh, we're waiting for a, a bigger push on a daily all the way down to the 618. Which we might just get now because price... Shot up, touched its pivot for the week, which usually gives it permission to follow its trend. Uh, so I'm actually going to just wait to see what happens at our, um, what happens at our 618. Euro, US dollar. All right. This is one of our biggest, bigger winners. Um, I did not have time to get a recording on it last night, uh, but you can see. On the hourly here, um, guys, I, I want to show you something that is just so easy to see or sh you should start to get to where you can see these type of moves. And uh, now I can't find the tool. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There it is. All right. So I want to show you guys. Boom. 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 Okay. Let's just kind of manipulate it the way we wanted it a little bit, guys. Bam. So you got a head and shoulders. Now, see these little freak out pushes? Okay. These these are uh, the market makers not making shit. It's too obvious. But when we broke this neckline, guys, you should have been in a sell trade. Uh, the safer bet was the top of this shoulder. Or, or not the safer, but this is where I look to enter. Uh, and then you would have great profit. Well, look at what we had post for us yesterday. Let's just use the same tool. Okay. Bam. Bam. It's pretty deep, but we're going to, like I said, nothing's perfect in this, in this uh, world, right? Yeah, I kind of screwed that up. There we go. Now, look at what you had. You had a head and shoulders. Okay. If you were looking, you should see that. And then you had a break in the neckline. But then you had this retest. So if you miss this, you had that retest. And then you should have gotten short on the retest. And we did in our channel. And we made another 140 pips last night. Woke up to a great Christmas present. Um, I did not, I apologize, I did not have time to send out uh, this via uh, trading view. But this is what we're looking for, guys, is these little patterns um, outside of our, you know, other strategy that we commonly use on this channel, which is the R2-S2. But these reversal patterns are very probable. Um, now what do I think we're, what do I think? Let's get rid of some of this noise. What do I think is going to happen with the Euro US dollar now? Right. Is I think we're probably going to start to see this come back up and we're going to be in a downward trend for a while. So I think we're going to get some sort of pull back up there and then guys, it's time to get short again, all the way I think I'm I'm good short this pair all the way down to this bullish 
uh, zone we have. Now, granted, it's not going to go in a straight line. Never does. But that's what I'm thinking. Uh, EuroCAD. Here's uh, another one of those. Our favorite new strategy that I'm going to put out. This box. Now, I want to get rid of this box <clears throat> and show you guys once again. If you can't see the head and shoulders patterned, <coughs> you guys need to start doing some homework. So, now you guys are seeing. Okay. Now, guys, I know I am not taking in these dips into account. Now, what, what you're seeing is we haven't seen a big break of this neckline and then we have this shot back up towards the pivot well if you see a break of this neckline which we're sitting on right now that's a, pro a probable trade and some might say this move cancels out the head and shoulders well i've been i've been running searching for reversals pretty much my whole trading career and i would tell you from my experience this head and shoulder goes until we break above this head or we have a solid break of this neckline so i'm <clears throat> not bullish on the neckline i'm bullish down here and if we get a, a solid break this is pr a pretty good sell trade uh more likely down here or as far as all the way down here which would be awesome all right guys let's keep moving here all right um British pound AUD, uh, we broke through this bearish zone, right? So we have to move this up. I want to see what price is going to do at R2. It's more than likely going to get to R2. So if you, some of you guys that want to do a really quick intra day, intra week move, we're probably going to get pushed to this R2. <clears throat> now, what are we going to get after we get there is what trade i'm looking for or we could possibly get a retest of this and then we want to get bullish off of that so that's the play i'm looking for if we get a breakdown and a retest of this man i love that trade up to r2 but more than likely we're going to get a strong surge touch r2 and that's where we're going to want to sell from so i'm going to put in a alert at 2.05541. Oh, 05541. Five, Bam. <clears throat> uh, British pound. Canadian dollar. Uh, wow, we hit R2 last night. It retracted. However, we're making another run for it. I'll come back to these. I don't want to waste your guys' time. Um, we have a missed pivot down here. That, man, it's going to be an awesome target, guys. Uh, Canadian dollars just getting beat up. Horrible. Because oil's getting beat up. Horrible. Uh, so, look for some fundamental... Look for some fundamental uh, easing, if you would, on oil to come from almost every country here soon because we cannot we're not in a, we're, we're not in a good place yet for oil to just go away and lots and lots of people and lots and lots of money are depending on oil to be you know in the 40 to 60 dollar a barrel uh just so they can operate but where we're hovering right now 20 below 20 and below uh it's not going to be well. So look for some fundamental reasons. They're not going to let oil. And then let's, we're going to watch Canadian dollar come back pretty strong. So here's my prediction. We're going to get a push up to here. Fundamentally, it's going to be super hard to try to make that sell trade. But if there's a pair of the Canadian, it would be the British pound that, I like that short trade. But like I said, we're we're up on the week. There's no need to get crazy. Again, right here, we're getting danger close to R2. Uh we actually are already seeing we're right at is this gonna be a double top scenario? Um 
but I'd like to see price push to that R2 back to this missed pivot. And guys, this may not happen all this week, but we may get in the sell trade <clears throat> by the end of the week. British pound JPY. So it's pretty easy to see across the board. We're seeing some strength in the JPY. That's probably more than likely because the U.S. equities market is suffering. And you can see we made a perfect double top right on the 0.5. So I technically that gives us permission. Uh, we're going to come back down to zero. So this is not a, a bad trade. <clears throat> Personally, I think we're going to get another test of this R2 uh, here on the hourly, even though we've double topped. Uh, but that will be what I'm waiting for is another test of this top. And I will, I will get short from there. British pound NZD. We're sitting right on R2 right now, guys. So decision time. I'm actually going to predict a short trade from here but i'm not going to put this in my telegram group because like i said we're already pretty far ahead and don't want to ruin it so here's british pound us dollar trade that we took and we've already taken taken profit from it didn't come all the way down to our take profit but i still like this trade down to the 618 and we're almost Getting to that triple top for another re-entry for you guys. Okay, NZD CAD. We had a good bounce in our bearish zone. We're in the middle of nowhere. NZD CHF. Kind of the same thing. We're waiting for that push down. We're getting that push down on the NZD JPY. NZD USD. We, we took this trade and I even sent out an update. But we shorted it here. Made perfect uh, money down to the pro, uh, pivot. Now that we hit the pivot, I'm going to see if price stalls out. If we get another push, I'm coming down to our bullish zone. USD Canadian dollar made a great short trade last night on this. Um, that's this move here. And then uh, we had a, another push up. It looks like I'm not going to get bullish till we're down in this area. USD Swiss franc, I think, ooh, we got a double top scenario going here, guys. Uh, it's not at any key levels, but you could look for a double top right here and get a push down to the 618 that we've been looking for off this daily move. And then USD JPY, uh, we're sitting at a double bottom, but I think we're probably more than likely, we're seeing that strength in the JPY. I'd like price to get down to the 105s and might be a buyer from there. Um, I know I know the 110s, 111 areas is sell like crazy. Uh, we're really searching for where that obvious buy is. And, you know, the 107s was a target before, but it looks like with the U.S. equities markets tanking a little bit today, we might see this push down to the 105s. All right, guys. Hopefully you, you enjoyed this. Uh, I think I'm going to do the Sunday setups and the midweek review every week now as my YouTube channel keeps growing. And guys, go check out AllenFX.com. Um, I'm, I'm doing a series of classes here soon. Yes, I will charge for them. And yes, I know I'm not the only one who has come up with this idea, but... Uh, I am going to take my time and really make these classes valuable. Um, I'm, I'm only going to let a certain number of people in each six weeks. But basically, this class is going to be a six-week long hand-holding exercise where you're going to basically watch every move I make for six weeks on your own demo account as you're copying my trades. And I'm going to show you guys how I've made a consistent one and one, one and a half percent returns for the last seven years. And, you know, I'm going to see how many people want to be involved in that. So if it sounds like something you want to do, shoot on over to allenfx.com. I'll put a, a link 
in the show notes below and fill out the form, schedule a call with me and get on the list. Like I said, I'm going to only run a limited number of people through because I only have a limited number of time and I want to make sure I spend as much time as I can with those students and really make sure they understand before they go off on their own and trade. All right. Have a great week. Hopefully you're as far ahead as we are in the group and are making money already and and can be very selective. All right, guys. Have a great week and I'll see you on the other side.